Hello, welcome again to another instruction from Math Genius with Teacher Gibo. Hello, 7th graders. I am Teacher Carl Gilbert Aventura, aka Teacher Gibo. And this time, we will be continuing the discussion regarding principal root and irrational root. Particularly, we'll be discussing on how to estimate the square roots of a whole number. Our objective is to estimate the square root of a whole number to the nearest tens. Here is a table concerning the square and the square roots of numbers from 1 to 30. Let us recall the steps in estimating square roots of a whole number. So first step is to determine between what two integers the square root of a number is. Second, take the midway of the two principal roots and find its square. Third, if the squared value of the midway is greater than the principal root, compute the squares between the lesser integer added by 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1 respectively. Last, if the squared value of the midway is less than the principal root, Compute the squares between the greater integer added by 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 respectively. We're now ready to get uh, face illustrative examples. Example number 1. Find the value of square root of 23. Round your answer to the nearest tens. Solution by inspection. We know that the radicand 23 is between the perfect square numbers 16 and 25. But notice that 23 is closer to 25 than 16. Thus, the value of the square root of 23 is most probably closer to 5 than 4. Solution by computation. The square root of 23 is between the square root of 16 which is 4 and the square root of 25 which is 5. So we take the midway from 4 to 5 which is 4.5. So let's try to take its square. 4.5 square is equal to 20.25. Notice 20.25 is less than 23, so we must move to 4.6. So 4.6 square is 21.16. Again, 20 or 21.16 is still less than 23, so we continue the process and try 4.7, 4.8, and so on. So let's try 4.7 square. 4.7 square gives you 22.09. Try 4.8. We have 4.8 square is 23.04. As you notice, 23.04 is closer to 23 than 22.09. Therefore, square root of 23 is approximately equal to 4.8. Next example. Example number 2. Find the square root or find the value of a square root of 39. Again, round your answer to the nearest tens. By inspection, we know that the radicand 39 is between the perfect square numbers 36 and 49. But notice again that 39 is closer to 36 than 49. Thus, the square root of 39 is most probably closer to 6 than 7. By computation, we have the square root of 39 is between square root of 36 which is 6 and square root of 49 which is 7. So we take the square of the midway of the numbers 6 and 7 which is 6.5. So same process as we did in example number 1. So take their squares. So starting 6.5. 6.5 square is 42.25. 42.25 is greater than 39. So, baba tayo. We have 6.4 square. 6.4 square is 40.96. Still, try 6.3. So, 6.3 square is 39.69. Again, let us try another one which is 6.2 square. 6.2 square is 
among these numbers above, notice that 38.44 is closer to 39 than any number or any other number. Thus, the square root of 39 is approximately equal to 6.2. Next, example number 3. That's number 3. Example number 3, matching type. So match the orange column to the green column. So under orange column, we have number 1, which is square root of 3, square root of 7, square root of 19, square root of 35, and square root of 110. So let's see the solution. So square root of 3 is equal to 1.7. Why? Because square root of 3 is equal to 1.7320. Next, square root of 7. Square root of 7 is equal to 2.6. Why? Because square root of 7 is equal to 2.6457. Next, square root of 19. Square root of 19 is much to 4.4. Why? Because the exact value of square root of 19 is 4.3589. So we round off to the nearest tens, which is 4.4. Therefore, square root of 19 is equal to 4. Point, or approximately equal to 4.4. Next, square root of 35. Square root of 35 is 5.9. Why? Because the exact value of square root of 35 is 5.9161. Lastly, number 5, square root of 110. 110 is much to 10.5. Why? Because square root of 10 is equal to 10.4880. Okay, so that's all. Remember, mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about your understanding by William Port Thursman. Again, this is your teacher, Carl Gilbert Aventura, aka Teacher Gibo. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction.